Never buy this model year Toyota Tacoma. Good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here and welcome back to the channel. Never buy this model year Toyota Tacoma. Now, generally, the Toyota Tacoma is known for dependability and reliability, right? I mean, when you talk about the Tacoma, that's generally the first thing that everybody brings up, but not so for this model year. Now, the model was plagued by a sticking accelerator and other throttle problems. The problem was also present in other years, particularly 2009 through 2010, but it really began in this model year. And the model year I'm talking about is the 2007 Toyota Tacoma. Now, not only did it show up early in ownership, but it's very expensive to repair. The average repair cost for this back in the day, we're talking about 2007, right? Was 6,500 bucks. Now, you could only imagine with inflation what it would cost to fix this, this today if it had to come out of your pocket. We're probably talking somewhere in the, I'd say $8,000 range. Pretty hefty bill for a used truck, right? Now, there was a recall issued, but many complained that the problem persisted even after the recall. So they really didn't fix it. They brought it in, they did something, and it didn't take care of the problem. Owners would report that the engine would surge in the higher gears and sometimes stay at the higher RPM level. Now, it occurred in both the manual and the automatic transmission. I will say that given the choice, if this happened to you, probably better to have had a manual transmission because at least you could engage the clutch and cut the power off, right? Pull over safely, coasting, um, off the road, and then just turn the engine off. In an automatic, you would have to actually think to shift the car, or the truck in this case, into neutral, and then do the same thing. And I gotta wonder how many people when this happened, you know, the engine's accelerating, the RPMs are up, actually thought to shift into neutral and pull over. I'd say many people probably just turned it off. Now you lose all your power steering, your power brakes, everything else, and you still have to get off the road, right? Imagine that happening on the freeway. Now, because of this, there was also, there were also other issues. Premature brake wear, right? I mean, when the brakes are fighting the motor to slow down, you know, the RPMs are up, it's wanting to go, 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 and you're wanting to stop, stop, stop. So the brakes have to work even harder to slow a truck down that is trying to continually accelerate. Hopefully, if you're like me, when you're going to brake, you let off the accelerator and you're not fighting both, you know? Uh, fuel economy suffered. I mean, obviously, if the truck is revving higher than it needed to be, uh, that's going to burn more gas. Now, there were uh, even a few complaints that the gas pedal would go straight to the floor. Uh, again, my example, getting onto a freeway, you're on the entrance ramp, you're giving it the gas, right? Because you have to accelerate and the pedal goes all the way to the floor and it would stay there. That had to be terrifying. You know, you're up, it's, it's seven o'clock in the morning, you're on your way to work, you're half awake anyway. You hit the gas to get on the freeway, the accelerator goes all the way to the floor and doesn't come back up. The RPMs are climbing and you're barely awake. That'll wake you up in the morning, I bet. And I bet it did a lot of people, right? Now, another problem with the 2007, because that wasn't it, uh, was the clear coat and the paint. The clear coat would peel off in spots after only about a thousand miles on the truck, right? And it was stated that the peeling and the cracking of the clear coat would happen when people were waxing the truck. So imagine you're out there, you're trying to get your truck all nice and shiny because you just got it, right? You want to take care of it? We all do it. I do it. So you're out there and you're polishing and shining your truck and parts of the clear coat start to crack and peel off. What a bummer, man. What a bummer. Now, there have, uh, there have been a lot of complaints too, and this is probably because of the clear coat chipping and peeling off, um, of the paint fading, chipping, flaking, and it makes sense, right? Because the clear coat is on there to protect the paint. Once the clear coat is off, the paint is exposed. Now, once the paint comes off, you're down to bare metal. And obviously that's going to create an opportunity for rust to form. 
So now you have a bigger problem, right? And again, if this happened to have happened to you back when you bought it brand new in 2007, you'd be covered under warranty. But now we, flat, we fast forward to 2020 and people are buying these uh, trucks as used, especially right now. The used market is huge. And you know there's got to be some 2007s out there floating around, right? I mean, the Tacomas do last a long time, even given these little problems. So you go out, you pick up a 2007 that somebody probably dumped, and so did the next person and the next person because of these problems, right? Now that bill could be yours as much as $8,000 to fix this throttle or accelerator problem, assuming they can even fix it. And then the cost to respray or repaint your truck. You know, that can be as much as four or five grand, depending on where you have it done. What a bummer, you know? So the 2007 is definitely the model year Tacoma that you should never buy. I mean, given the choice, if you're in the market and you're out there shopping around because you need a truck uh, and you're looking at something used, why would you buy a 2007 knowing that it has these issues and that they could become your problem and your bill, right? I don't know. You know, it's funny because I know some people are going to say that, well, I have a 2007 and I never had that issue or I now have a 2007 and it doesn't have that issue. Sure, not every truck produced in those years is going to have that problem. You know, I'll give you an example with my Jeep Gladiator out there. There are a lot of complaints right now with that truck about the steering. The steering being loose, it's all over the road. They have a TSB out there uh, where they're replacing some steering components and things to straighten that out. Uh, but even after having that done, I'm hearing, com people, com I'm hearing people complain that uh, it's still not fixed or they're having other problems like it's pulling to the left or to the right but not every truck. I don't have that problem in my Jeep Gladiator, so I guess I'm one of, the, one of the lucky ones there. I have another issue with the auto stop and the check engine light, but that's a whole other discussion. So obviously there are going to be some trucks that don't have the problem, and maybe you're lucky enough to have one that doesn't. Uh, and I hope so. I hope that anybody and everybody watching this has a good truck, it's dependable and reliable, and you don't have any of those issues. But overall, I would say never buy a 2007 Toyota Tacoma. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you happen to have a 2007, did you experience these issues? Are you aware of whether or not they were fixed before you got the truck? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you haven't before and you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.